So hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 14 of our F1 Manager Series. Now we are halfway through our final season, I hope you're enjoying it so far. Lots to get through on this episode, so straight away let's get in to the big upgrade package. Now the upgrade package that you can see, as we go to the right hand side, we've had a new underfloor, uh, a new rear wing and front wing as well. It's just cemented this place in probably the top two or three teams at the, at the, uh, the front of the grid, as we know from the standings we are at this moment. But we are especially good at us corner, and at top speed we could do a little bit better. But at the moment, we are looking really, really decent with our car. And that's been shown in the standings because as we look at the constructors, we are well in front of Red Bull at this moment in time. McLaren in P3 and Ferrari in P4. Driver standings-wise, Lando Norris is leading by four points from his teammate Pierre Gasly. Um, and Max Verstappen is a 31 points off Lando Norris and 27 points off of Pierre. So it's very, very close at the top in the drivers. The Constructors is looking a little bit more comfortable. I will just show you the F2 um, driver standings. That's Enzo Fittipaldi is leading from Victor Martens. And uh, in F3, Frank Mack is leading from Roberto Faria. Oli Gray not having his best season this season. This weekend, we do head to Zanvo. If you didn't watch the last episode at Spa, go back and watch that one. Lando Norris won and Pierre Gasly came in P3. Checo Perez splitting the two Andretti Cadillacs. But we, of course, head to Zanvo, and it's uh, one that's always got plenty of colour. Plenty of orange. Max Verstappen's home Grand Prix, of course. 72 laps around here. Cornering, medium and high speed cornering, absolutely crucial round here. The expected strategy is a two stop using a combination of the soft and medium compounder tyre. You can try a one stop, of course, if you're feeling particularly courageous. But apart from that, ladies and gentlemen, not too much else to tell you. I'm going to crack on with practice and I'll see you in qualifying for the Dutch Grand Prix. This is it then, ladies and gentlemen, final laps in Q3. And it's got to be said, Lando Norris isn't improving enough. We are considering taking some engine penalties this weekend. Lando Norris coming up to the line, yellow through the first and second sector. And that is only at the moment going to be good enough for P4. Pierre Gasly on the other hand, green through the first and second sectors. I must say, I think Gasly's a little bit of a better qualifier than Lando Norris. And at the moment, Pierre Gasly, as he comes around the final corner, speeding up towards the line. Can he possibly put it on pole position? Pierre Gasly... Good enough for P4 at the moment. As we fast P4 forward on, let's have a little look where everybody else ends up. Perez goes provisional pole by three tenths of a second. And that is some qualifying lap from Checo Perez, who will be on pole position. Max Verstappen in P2, Piastri in P3, Gasly P4 and Lando in P5. But we are going to take some engine penalties. Let's get to the strategy. Right then, ladies and gents, we are going to take a full set of engine penalties with Lando Norris. So he's going to be starting towards the back of the grid. But let me bring you up to date on this situation because we've got heavy rain coming in the middle of the race i reckon the medium compounder tires should get us to the rain period then we'll probably finish on the softs at the very very end but both lando norris starting on the medium and pierre gasly doing the exact same gasly in p4 lando norris towards the bike let's see what we can do get ready for some fighting between the sand dunes here at the dutch grand prix and as the cameras turn to the Williams driver, you have to wonder what they can manage here. They've done really well to secure a P7 start. Some solid points could be on the cards today. And it looks like we're good to go. Here we go. It's the Dutch Grand Prix. And it's lights out. And away we go. And away we go. Lando Norris, of course, at the bike. But we are going to be focusing on Pierre Gasly down in P4. What can he do today on the medium compound tyre? He's actually fighting with uh, the Williams of Zhou Guan Yu. Early doors here. Going to be very interesting to see whether these soft compound tyres do pit early. Try and run to the wet weather period. Pierre Gasly on the mediums should be pretty comfortable in P3 at this moment in time. Perez leads away with Piastre. Lando Norris got a lot of work to do today. He's sat behind the Hugo Boss cars at this moment in time. He'll be looking to clear these as quickly as he possibly can. But lap one, Perez and Piastri got away fantastically well. Then comes Verstappen and Gasly. Hopefully the first of many overtakes today. Lando Norris getting past the Hugo Boss cars. You can already see how much time we've lost by being stuck behind these Hugo Boss cars. We must be rather enjoying racing an Andretti Cadillac today. But Lando Norris managing to get past one now. We'll be looking to get past another as we just switch back 
to the live action, we can see Lando Norris actually will get another highlight in. Managing to get past Kimi Raikkonen as well on the start finish straight. Great work from him. And Lando Norris is now up into P18, past the Hugo Boss cars. That's one uh, obstacle negotiated. Well, Pierre Gasly at the moment is really pushing to try and catch back up with Max Verstappen. Can't quite get up with him at this moment in time. Lando now chasing down Carlos Sainz in the Audi, but lap six, Gasly trying to catch Verstappen. And on lap eight, Gasly's not just caught Verstappen, he's overtaken Verstappen. Lovely work into turn one. The Dutch crowd won't be enjoying this. There goes Pierre Gasly, beautiful work, and he's past Max Verstappen into turn one and on lap eight now in P3. He's got three seconds to Oscar Piastri. They're playing the Andretti Cadillac game of towing each other along with the DRS. Norris now right on the back of Carlos Sainz on lap eight. Long way to go in this one, though. We are expecting the heavy rain around lap 30. That's when it's going to go very, very heavy indeed. And then we're going to have an inters period as well, so pit stops are going to be crucial today. Lap 15, we bring you back. Lando Norris is still trying to negotiate this traffic. He's just got past Esteban Ocon. He's now got past Carlos Sainz into turn one. Lovely work by Lando Norris. And now up into P15. I believe that is on track as we just cut back to the live action. He's now got Daniel Ricciardo in front of him and Valtteri Bottas. Pierre Gasly and Verstappen are just exchanging places, but we'll have a full rundown on lap 16. Perez and Piastre, P1 and P2, Verstappen in P3, then comes Gasly in P4, Hamilton in P5, doing well, but eight seconds behind Pierre Gasly. Joe and Lawson, the Williams, having a fantastic day at this moment in time. Leclerc, P8, Albon, P9, and Porsche in P10. We are seeing some soft compound runners starting to pit, including Daniel Ricciardo, who's had a bad pit stop there. But Lando Norris has just negotiated Valtteri Bottas and he's now up into P13. We'll not have the replays, we saw it live. And the battle is still going on because he's not quite in P13 because Bottas has got it back. We have seen a fair amount of the soft compound runners boxing. Pierre Gasly still sticking with Max Verstappen. They are actually starting to close the gap on Oscar Piastri. Lando Norris is now in P8, by the way, because of the pit stops that's been going on. Lando Norris now is still fighting with Lawson and Albon. So Lando Norris is actually negotiating this lovely. We are expecting rain in around 10 laps time. So 10 laps time, we'll be having the pit stops, but Gasly's tagging onto the back of Verstappen beautifully. And Lando Norris now up into P8. And Lando Norris has got past Liam Lawson, DRS wide open, and he's got past that Williams. Williams are having a good day today, they are on, they are on the cusp of scoring some decent points, but Lando Norris, lovely work from him before the final corner, and hopefully he can tag onto the back now of this Mercedes. Must be said, we've just had Oscar Piastri picked as well, he's now into P8 on the soft compound of tyres, he's going to be behind Liam Lawson and uh, Lando Norris very, very shortly. Gasly now in P3 with Verstappen. The front three all going to the rain period. Havi's just been telling Pierre that the rain is coming, but Lando Norris has just got past Alexander Albon. Beautiful work from him. Um, it must be said, Piastri, you can see in the background, he's actually getting held up by that Williams. I don't imagine he's going to be behind him for too much longer. But Lando Norris now up into P5. Gasly in P3. They are closing slightly on Perez at this moment in time. So Perez's pace is starting to die off a little bit. Uh, we are expecting rain how long we got. We've got around four or five minutes time and then the pit stops will be coming. We've had a crash on circuit. Now we've now told both our cars to pit as well. It's actually Lewis That's Hamilton. Oh, please tell me he's not smashed into a Williams. He has smashed into a Williams, and the Williams has been having a fantastic day so far. Lewis Hamilton has just taken one of them out. Not ideal at all. As you can see, the rain is coming down rather strongly now. Pierre Gasly is being told to pit on this lap because we are expecting heavy, heavy rain, and it makes sense to get our guy in and get onto the wet compound attire. I would expect Lando Norris is a little bit further back. It's not quite coming down as much as I thought it would be doing at this moment in time, but Gasly will be in this lap. And on lap 30, the rain has just started. It's just gone to damp, and Pierre Gasly is in to the pits for his pit stop. Lando Norris is going to be following him in very, very shortly. Let's have a look at this pit stop from our guys. Is it a good pit stop? 3.1 seconds. We will take that all day long. And into the pits comes Lando Norris as well. We are expecting this rain to absolutely hammer it down now. I don't want Pierre Gasly to kill his tyres completely on this outlap because... 
he, he's gonna he's not quite ready for wet yet he's still probably intermediates at this moment so gasly is out we're just gonna keep him on the standard tires at the moment we're just gonna attack and then get him into the window lando norris 3.2 seconds his stop both andretti's now onto the wet compound attire Verstappen in to the pits and Pierre Gasly who's been going light on the tyres trying to conserve them coming around the final corner. Now where is Verstappen? He's just trundling out of the pits. This could be very touch and go whether Pierre Gasly gets the undercut on him here. Let's have a look as Verstappen looks to leave the pit lane. Pierre Gasly is actually behind him. Maybe we did come in one lap too early. Lando Norris in P10 still now stuck behind Carlos Sainz, but Pierre Gasly will be so disappointed. Didn't quite get that one right. Lap 32, yeah. still in P3. Perez as well now on the wet compound attire, but that's not been ideal for Gasly at all. We bring you back on lap 36. Everybody on the grid now on the wet compound attire. Perez is still leading from Verstappen. We can see Gasly in P3, then Piastri in P4. Norris P5, then Leclerc, Albon, Russell, Joe, and Porsche. In P10, Hamilton in P11. Dear, oh dear, Lewis Hamilton out of the points again. But we've now got a decent stint on these wet compounded tyres. We expect around lap 55 to be going onto the intermediates. And let's hope that we get that call a little bit better than we did the first one. Lap 47, Perez is into the pits. There's a few cars into the pits with Perez and Ga uh, sorry, Gasly and Verstappen staying out. Lando Norris is going to be coming into the pits on this lap. We didn't quite get the timing right with Pierre Gasly. By the time we were just about to switch him into the pits, he did. Uh, he was already past the pit box. So into the pits comes Piastri and Perez. Lando Norris, of course, now into the pits. Oh, we're going to get a decent stop here. Doesn't look a bad one from the team. Or oh, does it? It does look a bad one for the team. And Lando Norris is having a shocking pit stop. 7.4 seconds. Gasly probably quite happy that he didn't come in at that point. So Lando Norris, terrible pit stop for him. Still looks like he's going to come out in P5. Uh, I believe that's Charles Leclerc now running past him on the intermediate. So Leclerc gets an undercut, but not quite because Norris is still now out in front. Gasly will be in this lap. And into the pits comes Pierre Gasly. We could do we have a Stappen problem here. Um, in P1 at the moment, of course, Max Verstappen. Um, he, are we going to get a decent pit stop here? We certainly look like we are. That's better from the team. Pierre Gasly does get a decent pit stop, as does Max Verstappen. Lando Norris pushing on hard now on the intermediate tyres. We are trying to be aggressive and really deploy with Lando Norris. But Pierre Gasly now, there's going to be a big, big gap to Verstappen and Perez. I would suggest that Perez may have this wrapped up today. Lap 48... Everybody now on Inters. Gasly comes out in P3 and Norris in P5. Right, we might not have got the Inters one right, but we've certainly got the soft compound tyre one right because Verstappen and Perez have carried on and Pierre Gasly's into the pits. Let's hope he has a better pit stop this time around. Pierre Gasly, we are in and it's a lovely pit stop. 3.2 seconds, he's out onto the soft compound tyre. Lando Norris follows him in. We, of course, had the gap. We didn't have to worry about the double stack, but in comes Lando Norris. Are we going to get a decent pit stop here? Certainly looks like we are. Lando Norris, 3.3 seconds. We will take that all day long. Perez and Verstappen have stayed out. Gasly now, if he's going to close this gap, has to push on. And if we get a safety car, that's the most unlucky thing in the world. But Pierre Gasly now pushing on lap 61. We've got a yellow flag on circuit. And it is Nico Hulkenberg spinning off. Let's have a little look at this one. Nico Hulkenberg on the intermediates. Obviously struggling for grip. Just spins off. Um, he's sorry about that. He's not having a good time in that Hugo Boss this season, it must be said. But now Gasly pushing on as is Lando Norris. It is hammer time for both to try and get the undercut and close the gaps on the car in front. Is Max Verstappen throwing away this Grand Prix? Because Max Verstappen, Perez has come into the pits onto the soft compound attire. Verstappen has stayed out once again. This is allowing Gasly to close up. Like you've never seen. The last lap, there was a two-second difference. Gasly could possibly catch Verstappen here. Meanwhile, Lando Norris closing up to the back of Russell and Leclerc. Piastri's now into the pits as well. It'll be very interesting to see if Lando Norris actually gets Russell. past Oscar Piastri. Let's have a look. We can see Lando Norris down the right-hand side coming down the start-finish straight. Is Lando Norris going to come out in front of the McLaren? Not quite. But he's certainly closed up to him. Meanwhile, Gasly is closing on Verstappen all the time. 
Verstappen finally into the pits and it's a decent pit stop. I was hoping he wasn't going to have a, uh, a good pit stop, uh, Max Verstappen. But where is Pierre Gasly coming around the final corner? I think Verstappen probably done enough here, even with that mistake and that strategy blunder, to stay in front of Pierre Gasly. Where is Pierre? There he is fighting with a Aston Martin, it must be said. Uh, but Max Verstappen now is out and it is 3.7 seconds, the gap to Gasly. But Gasly is having to negotiate traffic that he shouldn't really have to negotiate. Meanwhile, Lando Norris, who's just got the fastest lap of the Grand Prix, has done very, very well indeed. Lovely work from Lando Norris. He's now up into a net P4. Lovely work from Lando in the final couple of corners. Let's just have a full rundown then. We've had everybody pit now mostly. Perez is leading from Verstappen, Gasly 3.7 seconds back, then Lando Norris, Piastri P5, Leclerc P6, Russell, Albon, Joe and Hamilton are your top 10 with 10 laps to go. Lando Norris and Oscar Piastri are going to be battling all the way to the line here. Oscar Piastri at this moment in time just getting back in front of Lando Norris. Fair play to him. Uh, this is going to be a battle that rumbles on all the way to the end as we cut back towards the live action. It's been a very difficult Grand Prix for us here. Perez leading from Verstappen now 8.6 seconds. Checo Perez is looking very, very strong at the moment. Gasly in P3. Um, he's not going to catch Verstappen. He's probably not going to... Well, he's definitely not going to get caught by Piastri. But Norris and Piastri are certainly still battling for P4 at the moment. We're just getting our tyres back into the correct window. Six laps to go. Still, a, still anything could happen here. Don't write us off just yet. Final lap of the Grand Prix and final sector for Checo Perez. It's got to be said, he's been fantastic today. Maybe we could have done a little bit better with the strategy calls, but take nothing away from Checo Perez. He threatened in Spa, but he's been sublime in Zanvo. Checo Perez wins the Dutch Grand Prix, Max Verstappen is going to come home in a P2. That'll be very popular with the fans here, of course. Um, his old teammate beating him. A little bit less popular, it must be said. Pierre Gasly getting a podium. We can be happy with that today. And Lando Norris from the back of the grid to P4. We will take that all day long. It ends at our dominance in recent races, it must be said. But we'll recover, we'll go again. But let's get to the podium. What a masterclass drive from Pierre Gasly today. What a fantastic result for the team who got everything right for this podium. They deserve nothing less. The team has been waiting patiently there and you can see just how much it means to each and every one of them. The Frenchman was in sublime form today, fully deserving of his podium finish here. The podiums just keep coming this season. What a sensational driver we've been watching. It looks like Pierre Gasly thoroughly enjoyed that one. Checo Perez certainly did as the champagne now starts to flow. And I'll let you into a little secret, ladies and gentlemen. I had to re-record that, and, and we actually won it the first time I recorded it, but due to um, some recording issues towards the end of the Grand Prix, I had to redo it. So I'm a little bit gutted because we actually finished P1 and P3 in the, uh, the first run. So, yeah, disappointing, but there we go. These are the things that have to happen. Checo Perez winning, as we saw from Max Verstappen. Gasly in P3. Lando Norris in P4. Then comes Piastri, Leclerc, Russell, Albon, Joe, and Hamilton. Must be said, I don't think that's been too bad a, grand pr too bad a weekend for us. 276, the Andretti drivers, are separated by just one single point. But Lando Norris is leading at the moment. Verstappen closes in a little bit to 251 points now. And Checo Perez, a clear... P4. Will Red Bull be regretting replacing Perez with Russell? You'd have to think they would be. Constructor standings wise, we do get 27 points. We still extend our lead by three points um, over Red Bull. McLaren a comfortable P3. Ferrari a comfortable P4. Uh, Mercedes do overtake us. This is a little battle that we're watching for P6 for Mercedes. Dear, oh dear. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed that one. Please do remember to like and subscribe and I shall see you on the next one. ta -ra.